Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, JDC family. My name is Jay. This is my Diecast Creations channel. If you guys don't know, first JDC build off, Free the Ferraris, is up on the channel for my girlfriend's birthday. Go and check it out. Today, we're jumping into the Diecast Graveyard Race Car Challenge. Now, Paul over at Diecast Graveyard put out an open invitation to the whole community. Anybody that wanted to participate, any race car you wanted to do. I had other plans for this, but it kind of got put on the back burner because I had so many other things going on. And this ended up being a pull the trigger on an afternoon and be done by the evening type of deal. Um, we started off with the Chevy Impala stock car by um, Hot Wheels, right? And one of the reasons I did this is because I don't have any i don't have any decals um water slide number transfers you know i have i have some dry rubs that uh that i've used on a few different things but i didn't want to do the same thing on everything right like you got to have some variety in your life like you know variety is the spice of life right so maybe i cheated a little bit um by using a car that already had tampos on it and making the most out of that but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I almost didn't build the car, you know, like it came down to a couple days left. I know I got the racetrack this weekend and, uh, it was either do it or don't. And I decided to do it. So we go with the, um, the Chevy Impala stock car. It's got a number four on it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just, I, I had seen old man diecast had did a video where he took the tampos off the car, right? He used nail polish remover or acetone or something with a Q-tip. So I tried to do this on this car, but because it's a matte clear coat, matte finish on it, it didn't come out the way that he, it did on his, you know, maybe because it's a little rougher. And uh, the, the tampos didn't come off all the way. It kind of blended into the white. And then on the hood, it actually ripped the spot. So, you know, at that point, I'm like, you know what? I'm taping it off. We're going to tape off the numbers. We're going to tape off the little Chevy symbol. And, uh, you know, I'm going to make the most of this. So I spray it all flat white, um, clear it with a matte clear coat, right? And then it sets up a, a canvas for the decals. Now, we went with a JDC, um, a, a Jay's Diecast Creation sponsorship on this car. Shout out to Chuck at Flying Valiant for making these decals and getting them out to me. Um, if you need decals, hit up Chuck. He does have a waiting list at the moment, but um, the guy is 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 on point with his with his work, you know. And if you haven't seen his channel, go and check that out too, because um, probably between him and Mario Piera, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, MSKM, I believe. Um, those are my two favorite builders as far as, uh, you know, their their execution overall, um, as well as Outlaw Speed Shop. But that's that's a whole nother thing. Um, go check out Chuck. Anyway, he sent me out these uh, these these decals and um, I made I made I made the most of what I had on hand. Right. So I slap one on the hood. I slap one on the rear bumper there. We kind of go with a sponsor wanted type of deal. Where, you know, this guy's been bumping and banging for half the season, ripped a couple fenders off, slapped some white ones on there, and that's why it doesn't line up with the doors. You know, when you don't have a lot of money, you put it into tires, fuel, engine, you know, and you don't really care what it looks like at the end of the day. We're trying to get out there every Saturday night, right? So... Being a hard running car, this thing's been, you know, rubbing up against other cars and sending it in there and <clears throat> starting up front on the restarts, you know, getting hammered on the restarts a little bit. So that's why it's got all these black tire marks everywhere and uh, the bumpers are used up a little bit. So that's what we did. We cleared it with a matte finish and then I go in and I detail out the, the base, the interior. I had taped off the roll cage on the glass there and sprayed that black and, you know, I took the wheels off of a uh, racing champions Casey Kane car that I stole the cage out of <clears throat> for the street stock that's going to air tomorrow, actually. So this is the car that we started with. It is the Hot Wheels <clears throat> Chevy Impala stock car. Excuse me. I got something in my throat. 
Chevy Impala stock car from Hot Wheels. Um, we we kind of, you know, cheated a little bit, I guess, if you want to call it that. You know, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, and we made this thing a, a mid-season hard running race car that's uh sponsored it needs some some funding you know if if you want to get the delivery back on the car basically when you buy these fenders they either come in either black or white you know so we just got some white ones slapped them on there you know the fans don't care as long as they see a good race um i did take the tamiya weathering kit and uh i used the sand with the little makeup brush that's in there and I just added some, you know, to the bottom up, basically, like a dry brushing type of deal, but it's not a brush. It's like an applicator, right? Um, and it just gives it a little bit of a tint, like this thing was running for, you know, an hour or two out there. And, you know, a lot of dirt and rocks get kicked up, you know, pebbles and stuff like that. And, you know, it just adds a little bit of weather to the car. Not not rust or anything like that, but, you know, it just gives it some character and you know shows that it's been it's been running for a little bit out there so um overall i kind of like how it came out you know let me let me know what you guys think and uh i hope you like it leave a like leave a comment i'll catch you on the next one peace